Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel. And we are back for some more singular survival. Now, what you see in front of you is our usual crater here. And this is from Sage Cam's perspective. If you don't know, the reason singular survival went away for a while is A, the dev build of the game updated, and for some reason, Sage Cam just wouldn't load it up on my second Sage Cam computer. Turns out I had to change the sound systems on the computer from 48,000 hertz or whatever down to 44 and magically it worked again. So that was solved recently in the last week. And then also the beam drill. The mod had, um, well, the dev build had updated and the mod had sort of broken so it wasn't mining at any sort of speed. Oh dear, I'm missing a little bit there, aren't I? Okay, yeah. And you can see the wonderful smoke flickering. Anyway, I went ahead and uh, finally got a hold of Phonics and found out that it's something he could actually fix. It wasn't actually an issue with the dev build necessarily. So big shout out to Phonics for getting his beam drill up and running again for me. Lickety split. He didn't have to do that. He could have waited until it came into stable or whatever, but he fixed it. And I'm really appreciated for that. So big shout out to him. Big thanks for him making the beam drill and fixing it. He also told me that the camera I had on the front was cheating. So he removed the mounting point there. <laughs> so uh, at some point during this, you'll actually, you might see it in the footage, the camera just falls off the thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this footage and you'll see me mining around a whole bunch here. Ooh, that's not good. And getting oodles and oodles of uranium. There might be a few power failures, don't worry. I ended up lowering the beam's reach down to like 120 or something and all of our issues went away. That was actually really good timing. Anyway, it's time for fast forward. And at this angle, you can see I was uh, trying to mine down to get some uranium. We actually got tons and tons of uranium. We're currently up to like 500 uranium. You can also see there, I just replaced the cockpit. And that's when the uh, camera fell off too. As soon as I removed the cockpit, the camera fell. Made it a bit easier to control. I love this footage though, because you can see me blasting away at stuff. It's almost like power washing something, or I guess, you know, like a water drill, basically carving stuff out. And you can see I didn't just go for the uranium down there, I also went for, I believe, some magnesium over there and some silicon. And in the second here, yep, I even go for some ice. Yep, there it is, ice getting drilled away. And you can see I bunch, well, I took out quite a bit of it there. I love the way it just cuts in. I changed the view here, and you see I took out this whole area. Here. It was actually quite the undertaking and something you can see in this footage that I didn't actually realize was happening as I was, you know, sitting in the cockpit attached to the big laser slowly blasting away at everything is, well, the whole ship is slowly moving as well. So you, at one point I almost hit the landing gear and I looked at, back at it later. I'm like, wait, I can't see the landing gear. What's going on? The whole thing was sliding even though it said they were locked. You know, you can see it's um quite the difference here after we blast away and I got so much ice, our inventory was pretty much full. And you can see that it almost looks like, I don't know, it's magical, almost like a weird snowflake attacking out the world. Funny. Anyway, to really show the destruction, here's the footage in reverse, and a lot quicker, which I think is kind of awesome, just to see it all back together. And then the other way again, just at that same super duper speed, and you really see things move now. So dang cool. Anyway, after that, I realized that, well, our inventory's full, so I went ahead and removed our little dinky maneuvering thrusters there and started putting in all of these oxygen generators at every single side of the ship. We actually had enough resources. I did add an upgraded welder, but all in all, it took a while, but we got them done. <laughs> and we got a new tiered welder, one of them, on the sausage. Anyway, that is that for this episode. It was probably two and a bit hours of mucking about, at least an hour and a half of footage, but probably longer. You can see we um, did some serious zapping and mining. That's where all the uranium was right there. It's such a weird sight looking down to the depths of the planet and this weird floaty bits and all that. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different episode. I think this episode could actually do pretty well on its own without even knowing much about anything else with all the fast forward fun times. <laughs> anyway. Thanks a bunch for watching, guys and gals, and I shall see you all next time. Ta-ta.